Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Maneater. This is episode 3. So last time, we didn't really do anything too significant. We just kind of grew from being a baby shark to being an adolescent shark. And then we reached this new area, the Dead Horse Lake. So hopefully we can find some interesting missions to do while we're in here. I'm sorry, what's actually in here? Is this just nuclear material? wrapped in concrete, dumped into the water. Because, I mean, the U.S. is known for doing that, for, you know, leaving radioactive waste to soak into the water with only concrete to stop it. But only in other countries, not their own. All right, let's take out this barracuda before we explore. Damn it, I almost caught it. I think to keep the HUD from disappearing, I have to hit Alt F2 again instead of hitting just escape. <laughs> I also thought that maybe the reason I didn't have a cursor in the map is because my controller was plugged in, but when I unplugged it and then started up the game, I still don't have it, so I guess the game is just broken and doesn't have a cursor on this menu for some reason. Which is really annoying, because it's hard to set a waypoint. I basically have to click, which makes my my actual mouse appear, and then drag it to where I want it to be. Third cave feminism. Get it? Like third wave feminism? With lower concentrations of both arsenic and fecal coliform, Dead Horse's Grotto is a great place to take a break and evolve. So I guess the first thing we're going to do in these areas is find the grotto and probably unlock some new mutations. Though I think some of them we only unlock by defeating the... The infamy bosses, because if we pull up this menu here, yeah, you can see if we kill Bayou Willy, we get bioelectric teeth. Hardy, which is probably just more health. Mineral digestion, uh, uh, we can eat rocks. Adrenal gland, bioelectric fins, bioelectric body, mutagen digestion, bioelectric tail, bioelectric head, brutal muscles. I hope we can just turn people into clouds of blood by hitting them with their tail. Where does this go? There's nothing above, so this must be a little secret area. Or a shortcut. I do like the way these tunnels look. I think they actually did a good job on filling the environment with detail. You know, there's a lot of just little stuff that you probably don't even notice. Albino Barracuda. Oh, it's got a, a new material. It also has some regular friends. Alright, gotta remember to use my dodge. We may not be an even match for alligators yet, but... Barracudas we can take. Though I do actually want to get a shot of this guy. Oh, well. It just kind of looks like it has no texture because of the light. That is a big barracuda. Also, yeah, this is <laughs> unusably bright. Oh, the tail didn't completely break this time, it just turned upside down. You know, we're getting there. The shark looks like it's pretty painful, though. So I think these are mutagens that we're getting now. Still friggin' harassing me. <laughs> Not a lot of room to dodge down here. God damn. There's a lot of barracudas in this hole. Alright, we should come back here after we've checked out our grotto, cause. It looks like there's a whole thing down there that goes underground. Okay, yeah, so this seems to be a, a cave system that connects to multiple places. I mean, I'll take the barracudas over the alligators, but they're still a pain in the ass when there's that many of them. What's this? 
That looks very unnatural. It's definitely not good for my shark. Alright, let's heal up. Alright, so we don't want to go into the kaiju vent. It does look like something out of Pacific Rim. I think it's just the <laughs> the bright blue. What's with all the sunken buildings around here, though? Like, is part of the city just falling into the Gulf Coast? You know, there used to be a building here, then it uh, fell over, sank into the swamp. What's this? Is this just more toxic radiation? We appreciate the grant from Sunshine Solutions that made this show possible. We'd also like to remind viewers that mass cloning and gene editing for today's military is safer than ever. Oh, that's what that sound is. It's, it means there's a cache nearby. I heard one of these earlier while I was swimming back to the start of this area. Supercharged with gene-altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. So I think those are probably the fastest way to level up, at least at this point in the game. Because you get a lot of materials out of that. Alright, just keep going forward. Also, I think that it's actually faster to use knifing. It's just harder to navigate. But you do seem to move quite a bit faster like this, even though I feel like that doesn't make much sense. That there would be more drag sticking out of the surface like that. The Trash Man. 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals. That sounds about right for the South. It's kind of hard <laughs> if I want to pose with these things. It's not like I can just go stand next to them. <laughs> Shark and Trash Man working together. The most unlikely pair. Alright, and my HUD is still there, so that's a good sign. What are these? Just a bunch of for sale signs? It looks like somebody dropped an entire crate of them in here. But yeah, just look how much stuff is on screen here for, like, weeds and logs and boats and... I think the environment looks really good in this. Though there's obviously not a lot of underwater shark games to compare it to. You know, like, depth does not have nearly this much detail. And Jaws Unleashed obviously doesn't have this much because it was console first and foremost developed. So I think that's where we were earlier. Well, no, maybe not. There's a supply chest in there. And an albino grouper. All right, let's follow our glowing umbilical here down into the ca ca cave. <laughs> I was going to say cavern, and he said cave. It's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. The part of her that is not a raging, vicious, cartoony beast that just wants to destroy. What is that? Why is there just a big old glowing jellyfish trapped in a cage? Can I? I don't think I'll be able to get through here. Usually you can't go through walls with this photo mode. Oh, I guess you can. It's down here. Oh, that's just the edge of the world, isn't it? We seem to have quite a long distance we can go from our shark, though. Because a lot of the time, this photo mode is bound very close to where you freeze. But, eh, it seems like this time we got pretty good distance, which means I'll be able to get some shots of bosses and stuff. Alright, so I guess we'll see if we've unlocked anything. 
No? I guess coming to these is not enough to unlock something. This just means, though, that we will checkpoint here if we die. Maybe this also unlocks the... Yeah, okay, I think it unlocks the side missions around here once you've checked it out. So what do we got? What a dump. Destroy target. Okay, that wants us to fight a barracuda. Which probably means it wants us to fight like 10 barracuda and one boss one. Consume 10 humans. Hmm. I wonder if we're ready for that yet. Alright, so that cache is hidden under here. I'm just looking if there's a- oh. There is, in fact, an alligator around. I'd like to at least level up again before we deal with an alligator. I'm trying to find if there's a grate down here we can use to get that chest. Okay, there's a pipe. Probably getting this pipe. Let's, uh, let's, let's see. Oh. Alright, there's just another chest there. Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. Not quite to the same degree as tiger sharks, though. They've never found a suit of plate armor inside of a <laughs> bull shark's stomach. Though maybe they just haven't searched enough bull sharks. Until local police departments settle a dispute over jurisdiction, these two remain a popular attraction for selfie-seeking snorkelers. Yep, that's something they would just leave underwater. Don't bother finding out whose remains it are. It is until you <laughs> figure out whose jurisdiction you're in. Alright, there's gotta be an entrance to this pipe, right? Oh. Oh, I guess this pipe just kinda keeps going. <laughs> Maybe that's not the one we need. Is that a landmark above the water? Also, what's up with these highways that literally go over the swamp? Like, they're not even really bridges. Oh, pontoon boat. Who's that? I'm out. Where are you gonna go? I bumped it. That wasn't on purpose. Part of what conjures the alienness of the shark is its lack of a skeleton. That seemed like a weird place to just drop that fact in there. Alright. So Albina Barracuda are not that special. There's just less of them. And they give you a different material. I think we're big enough now that we can grab the Barracuda, because I guess we're level 5, and that the level also determines our biomass size. Okay, so where are we going? Oh, that's a license plate. So I think this area, based on this visual right here, this is the area that they showed off a lot of gameplay of before the game came out, which made it look like a very simplistic arcade -y game where you just kept jumping out of the water and eating people. It turns out, Tripwire are just kind of bad at showing off their own features. Big surprise. Things that Tripwire are bad at, dealing with the public. Alright, I guess we'll uh, go eat people. They're easier to eat than Barracuda. I'm kind of regular there from Mingle Joes. People say it's a tourist trap. But it's the only plate to get a decent Cesarec that don't have me on their do not serve list.
terrorize the beach, eat humans, and destroy boats. Be a menace. Oh, what's down here? Oh, we need to be an elder. So I think those are places that lead to the ocean. Well, maybe not that one, but... I don't think it'll let us go out here until we're an elder, so we're kind of stuck into these more... coastal, inland areas. I don't think we're ready for this, though, because I don't have a lot of abilities to get up there and kill him. I mean, that would be pretty terrifying to just randomly have a shark jump up and scrape along the railing. <laughs> Violence and viscera are my game. Murderous shark is my name. I cannot believe I actually got up there by just attacking repeatedly. <laughs> I think if you target someone, you can lunge at them like that. I don't... but I don't think I can jump that high. <laughs> Hold on. Uh. I don't even have a double jump yet. Yeah, I think we're unprepared for this. We'll just give him something to remember us by. Now, I wonder if my progress will reset if we leave. So what else can we do? We can't reach the marker there. However, there is a cache over here. So I guess we just go around and find caches until we're more capable. Then we can do the fun stuff. Not that, you know, flailing at humans and trying to eat them isn't fun, but we can't really do it well. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, Performance-enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. Yeah, I don't think there's really a lot of mutagens just, you know, freely floating around in the sea and altering the wildlife. At least not yet. And I guess the only thing we can do... Well, there's Barracuda there. There's actually... Radioactive waste. Many groupers have gathered in a nuclear plant sewer, perhaps attracted by near-endless supply of low-level radioactive waste. So that looks like it's in the area that I was in earlier, so we might actually want to go do that one. But let's check out this Barracuda. We should be a... We should be a match for it. And as long as we pass near a cache, it'll be added to our map. Killing humans and boats increases your threat. Killing too many brings out the bounty hunters. According to the tooltip that popped up while I was loading in, once the bounty hunters show up, you can kill a bunch of them, which will cause the boss bounty hunter to show up. So that's how we lure them out. So what does it want us to do here? Or is that... Underground? So I'm not seeing anything here. Oh, no, it's just over here. He's gotten some distance from his assigned zone. That is a really big barracuda. 
The tail of the shark is more correctly referred to as the caudal fin. It's so weird that he just has random facts that he drops in. The school of Barracuda frequents the waters around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and use pregnancy tests. All right, so that was pretty easy. Chest under here. No, oh, no. Nope. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. Well, you know, eaters can't be choosers. We eat whatever's available. Another license plate that we can't get. Because I, we really can't get a lot of height. Like, it doesn't seem to be affected by my speed. Alright, apparently that caused a bunch of missions to pop up. Take a bite out of organized crime. Troll boat ensures that Dixie Mafia compound is kept safe from the feds or an attack from other, more legitimate mafias. Sounds easy enough. Destroy a boat, probably. So yeah, I don't know if we're really gonna have much in the way of, like, story missions proper. I assume we will, based on what's been said about it, but... I'm also finding it hard to believe sometimes. I need something to get my health back. I also need this alligator to fuck right off. I mean, we could probably take him, but it's just a lot of effort for not a lot of payout. Especially since we don't have any specific use for these nutrients right now. We're just building up stuff we can't use. Ow. It turns out the machine guns hurt a lot. even when we're in the water. I think I got one of them, though. I'm kind of wondering how this threat thing works, though, because it's like, are they calling the police and being like, help, we're being attacked by a shark? Or is there like a shark busters number you can call when you're being attacked by sharks? That's the fishing trawler. So... Unfortunately, it seems like they can shoot through their own boat. Alright, we took a bite out of crime. We're almost at level 6 now. At which point, hopefully we can do something new. Mouth like a sewer. Sewer gator potentially has hepatitis A. Another gator. All right. Um, let's see. Well, radiation levels here are still dangerously unsafe. This retired nuclear plant is one of the city's few landmarks of note. It says hunt, but it doesn't say what we're hunting. Oh, that must be the Trash Island. What's up with the giant balloon things? Oh. Something over here. It's like a treehouse. As with many social movements, the annual Driftwood Man Festival purports to foster progressive change, but it's really just an excuse for hippies to flout public nudity laws. I 
I feel like this game has kind of mixed messages going on. Like, on the one hand, it's kind of taking the piss out of a lot of things, but on the other hand, it seems like it's trying to be a little bit, you know, pro-nature environmentalism, but while also not being. And then again, Jaws Unleashed was also a bit like that, where it's like, this shark would not be throwing explosive barrels at your boat if we treated the environment better. Oh, shit, I went the wrong way around this thing. So, instead of going all the way back around, I'm just gonna fast travel to the grotto. If I can find the spot to mouse over it. I really hope there's a fix for that. But again... The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. Because it's tripwire, there probably won't be an actual patch or fix of any kind for months. And it will not actually fix any of the real problems. So I don't know if this is just something I can't break through. Like, this one is going to be always indestructible. Oh, I guess I have to jump over this every time. I'm glad you can jump over these things and it's not like just an invisible wall telling you, nope, can't go this way. We need to be an adult to get in there. I need an adult, can somebody help me? Why is the tour airboat just unloading on me while I'm underwater? One. Most acrobatic shark you've ever seen. This thing has a lot of cages that make it hard to grab these guys. A shark will hurl itself at anything that floats. Also not true. Well, at this rate, the boat's gonna sink before I actually hit these guys. I think we need more destructive powers before we can handle them. All right, where's this mission? Was it the boat? Was that actually what we were supposed to? Oh yeah, it is what we're supposed to be killing. All right, we need more food for that. Now I th think for this I'm gonna have to, oh, well, that didn't quite work. I gonna say I need to leap out next to it and then lunge for them. Boat's almost down. Huh? Where's your toys now? They don't work underwater. You cannot photograph in game videos, cutscenes, menus, or certain gameplay moments. Alright, so it doesn't let me take a snapshot when they do the eating human animation for some reason. Alright, level six. Now we're looking kind of big, kind of beefy. Ready to cause mayhem and destruction everywhere we go. Though I don't think we actually got better. Like, I don't think we can jump any better or anything yet. How do I get to that one? That seems really deep. a license plate anyway. Alright, let's try going to these tunnels again. 
if I can find them. Great should be to my right. We'll head into here and see what we can find. Actually, I think these are the groupers for this mission, right? Yep. Oh, there are also alligators in here. I was kind of wondering if it's like, why is the mission just eat 10 groupers? Like, what are they going to do to stop me? Turns out, it's the alligators who are going to stop me. You know, I wish we had some way to scare off other enemies so that we're not always getting stuck in these, like, 3 vs 1, 2 vs 1 fights. Because this kind of combat doesn't work well when you only have a dodge that's, you know, kind of locked to a specific enemy. Several grouper have made a home near the retired nuclear cooling towers. This is a great opportunity for the shark to test the theory that exposure to gamma rays gives you superpowers. Another jellyfish back there, that one's purple. All right, let's find out what's down here. There's an albino grouper. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Both of them? Why are they working together? nerve network capable of assessing the strength and health of her prey. That's why we can see health bars. All right, one alligator annihilated. There's nothing left down here for me to get health back from. So, um, do we have another man-eater we can follow for the remainder of the season? While the state of Dead Horse Lake is alarming, we can be assured that a new era of environmental stewardship will restore order to our treasured wild places. <laughs> you know, like the sponsors paid me to say. Alright, well, there's stuff down there to find. I just have to get rid of these menacing goddamn alligators that are going to ruin my day everywhere we go. Until we get alligator-crushing fins. Alright, let's see. Going straight this way. Unfortunately, the only fast travel we can do is between the grottos. Apparently there's another mission to kill groupers here. See, it gets rid of the HUD, but it doesn't get rid of the enemy being targeted thing. So I can kind of hide it. 
in the background. That's us. Looking a little less cute now. Look at this, there's just like alligators and barracuda following me around. You know, predators don't actually constantly compete with each other like that when there's this much prey. I mean, sure, they'll snap at each other when they get close, but they won't just harass each other non-stop. Alright. I still think that this whole mission structure is very bad, though. Of just like, go around, do stuff, and then eventually an actual mission will pop up. But most of the time, you're just being a shark and killing things, because that's all you want to do, right? That's the whole reason there's a shark game. I hear the crate. I also see the goddamn alligator following me. This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. Did this just go in a circle? I can't tell if this is the same room. I guess it is, because you can see the jellyfish up there. Or maybe not, because there was a license plate. According to this, there is another crate in here. I cannot believe these alligators. How persistently they follow you. Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. I, they seriously followed me all the- look at this! They just won't leave me alone! I need, like, a friggin' ink trail to get away from them. Alright, I don't know if there's anything else in here. There's a beach ball. How is that sitting on the bottom like that? I mean, they do eventually stop following you, but it's astounding how far they can go before they give up. Alright, so we might have to wrap up shortly, but I guess this will be another episode in which not much happened. Also, this is not where we came in. So... I don't really know where we are now. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. Oh no. <laughs> I'm going to get brutalized by an alligator in this tiny hole because I can't get out. You know, if you didn't try to do a backflip every time, you might actually get some distance, shark. I need like a name for this shark lady. Call her like Sharkleen or something. It's easier than referring to it as the shark every time. I don't know how to get out of here. <laughs> I'm just trapped in this tunnel system. Shark could live out her whole natural life down here. The food is just that abundant. But yeah, I feel like the complete lack of any ability to upgrade for this much time is kind of to the game's detraction. 
Like, I feel like we should be getting some gradual updates as we go. Another sewer mission. Is this basically the, the, the sewer level of this game? This area? What is that? You see that, like, mountain over there? Is that an amusement park? Apparently I can't go in this pipe. It's too small. Damn it. Well, you know, it's still faster to fast travel than it is to swim there. Which even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. I feel like in a game where you are playing as a shark and, you know, swimming all over, making the swimming feel kind of tedious is not really what you want. Like, you just feel so slow when you're underwater. This is me at, like, swim sprint. And this is me without the swim sprint. Very leisurely. Alright, let's just kill this alligator, hopefully. <laughs> Feels like it's impossible to fight an enemy without another one attacking you. Ugh. We are gonna get this alligator and I'm very determined not to die to it. But I'm gonna have to eat something first. I really need some, like, shark armor. Don't think the tail whip actually does anything. Wanna keep fighting? You big baby. Uh, did we bite off all of its limbs? <laughs> I just noticed that. Oh, cool. It refuses to let me take a an in-game screenshot of this. Apparently this is too violent. We finally killed one of those friggin' hunt alligators. Oh no, actually it seems like the photo mode is now broken because it perpetually says that I can't photograph. God, what a goddamn mess that is. I've never had a problem with that with any other game that supports it. A shark, why do we take this if tiny boat out into the swamp? In a flamingo boat, you can be fairly certain their blood alcohol level is at least 0.17. No! Well, my boat's under attack. Better jump into the water to escape the shark. Oh, that was another one of these people for this area. This muscle lunge, come on, man. Take a hint. You're not even a worthwhile threat for me to pay attention to.
Maybe there was no one in the water because we were here at night last time. You know, like an orca playing with its prey. Got a regular dad from Ingo Joe's. He would say it's a tourist trap. But it's the only plate to get a decent Cesare if you don't have me on that. Do not serve list. Jet ski hunters. It seems really hard to grab these guys off the boat. There we go. Bayou Willy is hunting you. Um. Okay, I thought I just died. Swampland. <laughs> Bayou Willy. And he's just a guy on a jet ski. I thought he would be a little more impressive. All right, I guess we're doing this, Bayou Willy. I think we're gonna have to change his name to Die, you Willy. Nope. Again, no screenshots allowed. The situation has escalated, and the price on the shark's head has risen. You know, I didn't think we'd get electricity as our first <laughs> evolution. Conventional apprehension methods having failed, authorities send out a motley collection of untrained, unlicensed individuals to do their work for them. Well, I got what I wanted here. Shark versus dolphin. Orca versus giant squid. Boat versus pylon. When establishing dominance, the contest is usually a deadly one, with survival as the prize. What did that have to do with this pile of junk down here? <laughs> it's not really a landmark, is it? Well, if you look there, you'll see a nice pile of garbage. Ooh, what's this? Revenge. Pete's pal, Red McCord, has been dumping fishing rivals here, and those rotting corpses aren't doing wonders for the water quality. Alright, so I guess this is perhaps tied in directly into our main mission, these revenge missions. Looks like we've got three of them, four of them now. Probably after killing the area boss. All right, well, let's head back to the grotto, get our bio... Oh, no, I can't fast travel when in combat. Never mind. Set a waypoint. We'll head back to the grotto, get our electricity, and then maybe check out some revenge missions next time. Since it feels like maybe we've made some actual progress this time, beyond just getting a little bigger. I'm not so keen on this area, though. I feel like it's just a little... messy. With all the tunnels and everything. Back into the loving, safe womb of the grotto. Quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. All right, so bioelectric teeth. Evolution releases an electrical charge each time you bite, giving you lightning teeth. You release electrical shock, inflicting two damage and putting one stun counter on anything within two meters. When they get 10 stun counters, they are stunned. It's kind of a weird status effect to build up, but alright. Costs 8,000 yellow, which we have 14,000 of. Wait, no, I don't want to upgrade it yet. I guess we just were given it. Yeah, look at those great white teeth that we have for some reason that make them electric. So I could actually upgrade this. I mean, I don't see why not. We don't have anything else to put points into right now. I don't even have anything for the other parts of my body. You know, I didn't actually realize I could just hold down left click to open the mouth. 
All right, well, I think I think that'll do it for. No, nope, still can't do anything with that. That'll do it for episode three of Man Eater. So next time we'll check out some revenge missions. Until then, I've been Shade Fire. This is Sharkleen, and I hope you'll join us next time. Take care, everyone.